Hello, on the following video I would like to show you how to easy post CXML data to Alibaba Network and later also how to post CXML with some attachment to Alibaba Network in the form of MIME. So first of all, let's recap what you will need. You will need at hand prepared CXML, assuming you are already familiar with CXML structure, so you should have all prepared including credentials and shared secret value. Second thing what you will need is to know the target URL. The standard endpoint of the network is this URL. It is documented in the solution guide. So we are also going to use this one in this exercise. The third part what you need is some application or tool which is allowing you to submit HTTPS uh, over the HTTPS seek some of the data to Alibaba network. I'm going to use SOAP UI client, which is uh, available for free. So let's start with this one. Opening the new project in SOAP UI, the type REST, and using the URL which I mentioned before. The method is going to be post. And in the first exercise, I'm going to submit plain CXML without any additional attachment. So choosing content type text slash XML. And uh, let me also comment, there is no username or password populated. There is no authorization needed. All the authorization details are in the payload of the message itself. Talking about the credentials, share secret, Alibaba IDs and so on. So let's take our sample of the CXML. I'm copying and pasting full MR full volume of the of the data and submitting the method. Alibaba network in the real time responding with this message. You can see it's a XML form and Part of it is a segment status with a code and text. It's important that you will process this response. It's a sexless response call, and this will provide you key information about the transaction result. So the code and text is very crucial for troubleshooting. In my second scenario, I will show you how to post CXML with some attachment. In this case, you need to prepare data in the form of MIME. MIME object, which contains two parts, the CXML, like in previous case, and encoded content, in my case, it's an attachment.pdf, encoded in base64. So similar to previous case, I'm going to paste it to the, to the source. However, I need to change one thing because in this case, I'm going to submit it under the different content type. So I need to create attribute. This is specific for SOAP UI, but the important is the, is the attribute value. And MIME needs to be submitted with content like multi-part mixed, having following attributes. The structure of the content type is well described in the solution guidelines. So I'm not going to discuss in detail how is it contracted, constructed, might be subject of the different session. I just would like to show you that this is the only difference when posting data to the network, including some attachment. And I got acknowledged as well. Let me quickly show you if I would, for example, use incorrect type. So if I would use the standard text XML and we would be trying to post mine to Alibaba Network, I would get error message. Code 406, the text, 
document could be parsed. So it is very important, especially in the case of MIME object, to use a proper content type. I hope the video was useful for you. Thank you very much.